We are here at the McPherson Guitar Booth. McPherson is out of Sparta, Wisconsin. They are known for their use of exotic woods, their offset sound hole, and their cantilever neck, as well as putting carbon in the neck in the truss rod. So it's a non-adjustable truss rod, super solid and super high end. So here is the offset sound hole. Here is the cantilever neck. And then you can kind of feel the denseness of the guitar because of that carbon rod in there. These guitars are so loud, so beautiful. This one is actually a redwood top guitar. Thousand some odd year old piece of wood. So beautiful. But, I want to go check out their new carbon fiber line. It's over here, come on. They started with a three-quarter size guitar. This guitar is practically um, indestructible. Again, they have the cantilever neck, their offset sound hole. This thing, it's complete carbon fiber. In fact, the way that they build their bodies is they melt down carbon and they liquid inject into a mold. So this is a completely solid piece of carbon fiber, as well as the way they do their tops. Completely carbon, the, the neck is carbon, the keys are carbon. What they're releasing here at NAMM is actually the full size carbon fiber. This is called the Sable. The Sable is a cutaway, what they call the Camriel kind of style of McPherson. And uh, this thing it packs a punch being a full size. Carbon fiber guitars notoriously kind of sound a bit not realistic in regards to wood. They sound a lot like plastic in my opinion. However, McPherson Guitars has got it right. This thing sounds, I mean, you close your eyes and, it's, and you think that you're listening to a wood acoustic guitar. It is incredible, the sound of this. Easy to play, durable, perfect travel guitar, perfect stage guitar, perfect recording guitar. McPherson has done a great job with honing in carbon. John, is that correct? Yes, sir. Juan John. Juan John is a clinician uh, for McPherson Guitars. He goes around and showcases McPherson's, his McPherson, mainly because he loves them. But let's hear what he has to say. Why McPherson for you? Well, first off, the build quality, um, the playability, the sound, there's nothing that matches that. I'm very, very blessed to be an artist for the company um, and very fortunate to be able to play both the wood models and the carbon fiber models. Yeah. And one of the biggest questions that I get is what's the difference between the wood model and the carbon fiber model? And so hopefully I can help answer that. So let me grab this guitar really quick to show you guys. I've got a Camryl which is um, this is a, a very aggressive sounding instrument it's got really great mid-range for lead guitar that sort of thing um, really and cuts through the mix absolutely okay. just cuts through the mix great so I love this guitar um, I use it in studios television shows things of that nature okay. um, but when I go on tour especially the hard tours is when I use the sable you mainly use the carbon and the sable for like travel because of the, the consistency yeah 
Absolutely, the consistency on this guitar is fantastic and you don't have to worry about it when it's sitting in your trunk in 117 degrees, which I did for a week. Um, and uh, honestly, the difference in sound, this has a very warm, round, beautiful wood tone, of course. Right, that red wood. Right. This has a very punchy, aggressive sound that I actually love live. And so people ask, you know, do you ever miss your wooden guitar when you're performing live with the carbon fibers? Not at all. The same luthiers that are building these guitars are building these guitars. So as I'm playing this guitar and this guitar, the feel is very, very similar. Um, and the sound is awesome. The bracing pattern underneath um, was designed to push as much harmonic frequency through the instrument as possible. It's loud, for sure. It's very loud. And like the cantilever neck design, you've got the cantilever neck on yep. that as well, and the offset sound hole as well. So it's they're very, very similar. The sound on this is just a little punchier, a little more aggressive, but I love them both, and they're both wonderful. But man, touring with these have been an absolute dream. Well, John, yeah. Juan John, thank Indeed. you so much for uh, enlightening us about your relationship with me, Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Matt, these are so much fun to play. I know that we get a lot to see here at the show, but I think I'm going to stay here just for a little bit and mess around. Yeah.